National Park Service logo, Joshua Tree National Park, Experience Your America. Green bush with yellow flowers known as creosote. Text reads, quote, nothing is more priceless and more worthy of preservation than the rich array of animal life with which our country has been blessed, end quote. President Nixon upon signing the Endangered Species Act in 1973. Park wildlife biologist, Kristen Lumiere. Desert tortoises are federally protected under the Endangered Species Act and are listed as threatened. This means that they are protected from being removed from the wild, from being touched or harassed in any form. Extreme temperatures and low rainfall here in the desert make for a very harsh life for the tortoise. But with increase of human presence, they are now faced with new threats. Development, meaning that they lose habitat, raven predation, they're removed from the wild because people want them as pets, and then they also have to worry about crossing the road where they can be hit by vehicles. Here are some ways that you can help this threatened species. Two hikers One, along the trail. if you happen to see a tortoise while you're out hiking, take a step back and enjoy watching this tortoise in its natural habitat. Two, pack it in, pack it out. By removing your trash, you help keep the raven population low. Ravens are known predators of baby tortoises. Car drive past Three, the limit sign. stay on marked routes and obey the posted speed limits. By driving slow, you will be more likely to see tortoises that may be in or on the roads. Tortoise walking off road. Tortoises are commonly seen on the road here in Joshua Tree National Park. They're traveling from burrow to burrow within their home range. They're looking for mates. They're looking for wildflowers, which are their natural food source. And they also might be drawn to the road where there are standing puddles of water from rain. Only in an emergency situation where a tortoise is in imminent danger of being killed by a vehicle on the roads do we suggest moving it. Car wheels drive by with a tortoise on the road. If you happen to see a tortoise on the road that's not in immediate danger of being hit or is moving off the road on its own accord, tortoise give it off plenty road. of space, play tortoise crossing guard, providing for your safety first, and allow for the tortoise to move off on its own. In the unlikely event that you do have to move a tortoise, here are a few simple instructions. One. Use a barrier if available. Gloved hands pick up tortoise. This could be gloves, it could be a t-shirt, or it could also be a page from the newsletter. Kristen speaking on camera. By using a barrier, this helps decrease the spread of the upper respiratory tract disease that we can carry from tortoise to tortoise. And if you don't have something to use, that's okay. The most important thing is to get the tortoise out of harm's way. Tortoise on road The side. general public will rarely, if ever, need to handle multiple tortoises in one day. Two, move it low and slow. Pick it up with both hands, keeping it level and a few inches off the road. You want to walk it slowly to the side of the road. Tortoise being carried across the road. Three, move it in the direction that it was already going. These tortoises know where they want to go. If you put it on the back on the wrong side of the road, the tortoise is just going to turn around and cross the road again. Four, move the tortoise about 50 to 100 feet off the road and place it in a shady spot. It will move off on its own when it's ready. On One of the area. reasons that tortoises should not be harassed or touched outside of an emergency situation is that they can void their bladder or pee. Tortoise eating grass. Desert tortoise are walking canteens of the desert. They can carry their water in their bladder for up to a year. If they void their bladder and there are no grasses or wildflowers for them to eat to replenish this water, this can be potentially fatal. Kristen in uniform The camera. greatest threats to the desert tortoise result from human activities. Our actions have a direct impact on the survival of this desert species. Will you see tortoises on your next visit to Joshua Tree National Park? Tortoise with grass. Text reads, footage hailing the tortoise was shot with a rescued pet tortoise, Tuga. He was legally adopted in 2002 with a license through the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Footage of Tuga was shot outside of Joshua Tree National Park as it is illegal to bring pet tortoises inside park boundaries to prevent the spread of disease among tortoise populations. Tortoise walks out of frame, desert grass and rocks. Text reads, videography by Brad Sutton, Leon Law, edited by Leon Law. Special thanks to Tuga the tortoise, wildlife biologist Kristen Lumiere. Get social, Joshua Tree, www.nps.gov slash J-O-T-R. Social media icons, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Flickr.